so hey shrishta so guys uh, today we have shrishta with us and uh, uh, shrishta recently got placed as a power bi developer in the analytics role so we will connect with shrishta and we will discuss with him uh, about his experience so shrishta can you tell uh, a little bit about your background right what is your qualifications and previous work experience if any so yes uh, i have uh, done masters in computer application and i am graduate in uh, bsc it okay uh, and i have completed my both of the studies in mumbai only okay. and after masters i have worked for uh, software development role uh, in a company named clevertap okay so there i realized that that role is not exactly what i wanted to work in mm -hmm. so after 6 months i dropped from that role and uh, when i dropped i was knowing only python because when we used to give placement exams uh, mm -hmm. we uh, used to study about python so that we can pass the coding test so okay. i was knowing python only so i started to discover what all the roles i can do with python so there were some roles like uh, machine learning data science data analysis and uh, back end development so i am not a web development person i don't like to develop anything related to web i like something which has logic something which is creative so i thought that i should take my python to data analysis and then i i have some i had some good projects in python uh, which were not related to analysis that time but uh, mm -hmm. later on i uh, modified it to analysis and after that i started to discover what all skills is needed to do a data analyst role or get a data analyst job so in that i found out that i need to learn one business intelligence tools and i need to know excel i need to know sql that i was knowing before and because i am from it background so in 5 years 6 years i have studied about sql database servers so i knew about i knew about the sql and in bsc it was my favorite subject also so i was pretty sure that i can do data analysis Uh, so i started uh, practicing on hacker rank my skill skills got better uh, with yeah. that and uh, eventually i got five star also in sql hacker rank so but i was not getting job because of the pandemic uh, mm. i was uh, applying for a lot of uh, roles in different companies where they were having analysis in any of the terms like i was applying for quality analysis also but that mm -hmm. is a testing role so but still i was applying because it was having analysis so i was applying for hr analysis finance analysis but i was not having that domain knowledge yeah but i was applying on every day basis i used to apply for 10 companies so on through which platforms you used to apply i used to apply from linkedin uh, yeah nokri got it and uh, i used to apply from intern shala also okay so yeah got it so uh, basically so what uh, so right now you are working with uh, which firm and as uh, i mean what kind of role you have got with them uh, so i am working uh, with uh, green green point global Uh, okay. so i suddenly got a call one day from a company named green point and it was very near to my home okay and i have first studied very far from my home i have traveled for one hour two hours from my home to college so i was like uh, this company is very near to me so i'll go and give the interview and then i went there and i got that they don't have any analysis uh, roles Mm. Uh, they have uh, database development roles full stack roles and by looking at my resume they also thought that i will do full stack role or something like that because i was having it background 
mm-hmm. so i i was very clear with at that time i was not applying also for the roles of full stack development software development i was not applying for those roles when i used to get calls i used to say them that i am not interested in development mm-hmm. roles i need because to... you did not want to go into uh, yeah. the your yeah. core domain right you wanted to go into analytics okay yeah so so the there i went for a database development role like i opted out for that because it was having sql and mm. if i am good at sql so i can do data analysis also mm. like i'm connected somewhere to data analysis i can apply later on in my life to data analysis but uh, when i went into cto round they told me that there is a secret power bi role also they have just started that uh, domain mm-hmm. and they have started creating reports for people of finance okay so i told uh, can you give me that role in the cto round so that cto mm-hmm. was uh, very impressed by my resume and my uh, skills so he told me uh, if you want i can give you and i was more than happy because uh, when i was and that time i have already enrolled in your course mm-hmm. so in your course you have said many time that gartner website has uh, kept mm-hmm. power bi as their top most bi tool and in the graph also you showed us so i was like yeah i am more than happy if you give me power bi because i want to become good at power bi yeah. so i started power bi in second january on second january okay so uh, what what skills you would recommend anyone who wish to get into let's say analytics role so what are those top skills that that person should possess so basically he should have a good uh, database knowledge hmm. uh, modeling one to many and all those cardinalities and everything he should be very good at yeah and uh, querying database Mm-hmm. and if he is uh, applying those skills on hacker rank or some competitive website that is more than enough mm-hmm. uh, because uh, basically they don't uh, apply that much hard queries on their day to day life uh, but yeah group by having and all those things they use so sql is basic and uh, they should have a good amount of knowledge of excel power bi power query so yeah which if he has mm-hmm. used excel in advanced way so it is like he has everything then he can only apply his brains and then he can do anything in that role well it's so i think your top most recommended things would be sql, SQL for sure and yes. then advanced excel concepts and if you can master any business intelligence tool yeah. like power bi right yeah and before and i was uh, just knowing tableau i have made one dashboard in my project so i was knowing tableau so when i went mm-hmm. there they told me to learn about power bi from microsoft learning path to yeah. see something and i was recollecting everything that tableau tableau is also having these things measures mm-hmm. dimensions and everything that same yeah thing. yeah Okay, so and uh, what kind of work do you do right now on a day-to-day basis, right? As far as Power BI developer role is concerned. So on my day-to-day basis, I create reports, and okay. in those reports, I use queries to fetch the tables. Mm-hmm. So basically, I'm currently working as a finance Power BI developer. so okay. i don't have that much knowledge of finance but mm. i am developing reports for them okay so basically you are learning about financial kpis as well along with analytics right yeah in my role if uh, you say because of the company i don't know or maybe the power bi development role is like that i don't get too much deep into finance like mm-hmm. i don't learn those concepts i just have to use aggregation or some uh, calculation small calculations i do mm-hmm. and i create reports yeah but you know so the company that you are working in right now they have just started building their analytics practice 
but after some time when their team will grow and they will become more mature at that point of time they will expect some complex calculation or advanced analytics as well from you right so that will be your learning path as well yes so i think yeah that's that was a i mean it was great interacting with you and your experience will help the learners as well so thank you so much for interacting sister and sharing your experience yes. thank you thank you for all your knowledge you give us on sundays and every time